Alrighty, what's going on guys and welcome back to the bed of goodness in more than one way. <laughs> and we're back to another, like an unboxing slash kind of Christmassy haul kind of thing. Um, I want to get some things on camera for, for what I want. So yeah, I've got some stuff to open and then I've got some, some presents. I mean this, I've already opened it as you can kind of tell. So I've kind of spoiled that one. Yeah, I want to go over some things I got for Christmas, mainly to get it kind of on here, and yeah, we've got some goodies to open. So, I managed to get myself an M.2 drive for the the PS5, um, it's already installed, I've already put it in, and easy, it was really easy to do. Uh, I was kind of put off getting one for a while, because I was like, it's probably a pain. It is only the 500 gig one, unfortunately, but that lets me put some of my PS5 games on the drive, and then lets me record more. So it kind of saves me a little bit of time. I managed to get an external hard drive for my digital PS5. So that makes my life easier. And I managed to get a one terabyte hard drive for my PC. So hard drive central. My amazing girlfriend managed to get me an OLED switch. And I managed to get some air bubbles on the screen. I'm not very good with uh, with screens and stuff. And I have a, it's only a 32 gig memory card in this. But yeah. The OLED switch, my girlfriend's awesome. She didn't just get me the switch, uh, it was kind of a present from her, her mum and her nan. But I have like awesome controllers. Where is my awesome controller? Let me show you my awesome switch controller. Look at that. It's so cool. I mean, obviously the camera doesn't really do it justice. Actually, you know, it kind of looks better on the camera. The colours are a bit darker. It's not quite that kind of saturated, but it looks really cool. Um, I've got steering wheels. Uh, loads and loads of separate things. Like I said, she got me loads. She's awesome. And, yeah, we'll go on to the game. So I'll get all of this out the way so that you don't have to look at that so we'll go over the switch games first i can't remember if i've shown this off already but i bought this a while ago because i asked for a switch intending to get one and then i got given one anyway so i bought minecraft for the switch will i ever play it i don't know i think i've got minecraft on every console apart from the ps2 so we'll see i've got mario kart 8 deluxe I haven't played this yet. I wanted to play through it on the second channel because I know Nintendo are a bit kind of a pain in the ass when it comes to copyright and kind of that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll see. And I've got The Witcher 3 Complete Edition on the Switch. Mainly because it was like, if I want to play Witcher in bed, I can play it on the Switch. And the fact that it's an OLED screen, it does look really cool. Right. And the final game I've already opened is a game called Project Helios. Now... I'll be honest, I bought this because the cover looked cool and I hadn't seen it and now I've seen what it's about. Probably isn't going to be the game for me, but it didn't cost me too much and it comes with a pretty cool cover. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Right, I'm getting onto the big box, but I can't show you the whole thing because it will spoil it. Boom, one game. I believe this is a Switch game. It is a Switch game. Is it a Switch game? Um, I don't actually know. Hard West. I think this is a Switch game. Would I be correct? I would be correct. It is a Switch game. It better be in there. It is in there. Nice. So what's this game about then? Well, supernatural chaos and revenge. He brutally hunt down all who wronged him, fight and survive through eight unique story-based scenarios. Oh, turn-based combat. Oh. oh no. There's loads in here though, Jesus. So what have we got here? We've got the art of Hard West. We've got books and artwork. That's quite cool. We've got a pin and some cards. Quite cool. And this, I'm going to guess, is a t-shirt. I don't really want to open it, because I won't be able to get it back. 
how it was. I could never do it. But it's a Hard West t-shirt. That's quite cool. Awesome. Okay. Let's see if that will fit back in there. Because I can never get stuff to go back the way it went in. So yeah, we have like a... I don't even know what you class that as. Does that be like a collector's edition? That's massive. Badland Publishing. It's huge. Look at the size of it. <laughs> right, next up on the... We have... Oh, that showed. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Wolfenstein Youngbloods. Or Youngblood. Um, it's brand new as well. Look at that. It's sealed. Nice. I think this cost me like a tenner. So, to get it still sealed is pretty, pretty cool. Um, I haven't played through Wolfenstein 2 yet. I'm actually going to do that after this. I'm going to start playing through that. Um, I've done Wolfenstein 1 and the Old Blood. Now we've got this. I mean, the disc isn't in there, is it? No, it's not. Oh, you didn't see that. I can't believe it comes with a manual. It's a PS oh shit. PS5 game with a manual in it. That's quite cool. But yeah, I'm kind of going on a Wolfenstein craze. I don't like how the back's a different colour now. I'm going to have three red ones and then this. Uh, wolves hunt together. Team up the friend or AR companion to take the Nazis on a brand new carpet adventure. Youngbloods. I can't. I've, I've already kind of spoken about it. Um, I know nothing about Youngblood. Um, like I said, I've only played two, and I know people weren't too big on it, but I also watch reviews on, like, Wolfenstein The New Order, and everyone was complaining about, kind of, how unrealistic it was, and it's like, look at the game you're playing, you really play Wolfenstein for the realism, you're a bit of an idiot there. Next up, we have, we have PC games. Nice. We have a game called Stronghold Deluxe. Stronghold 2. Um, I don't really have much to say. I'm kind of going on a bit of a PC collection craze at the moment. I'm buying tons of PC games. Mainly because it's easier to me to record that kind of stuff. Build battle, become a king. Play the ultimate castle sim. Expand your lands and build and fortify your sit. That leaves me good or shit. We will see. Next up in here we have. Oh, that's pretty sure that's empty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Infinite Warfare Steelbook. Um, how much did that cost me? That cost me. Oh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Um, I think it was like five pound. I'll be honest. That's the only reason I bought it. And I kind of like my steelbooks, you know, and. If I can get them cheap enough, that's great. It'll look cool next to my uh, Modern Warfare 2 one on the shelf. It won't go on. Three more. Next up, we have Pine View Drive, a Switch game. Yeah, so one thing I've noticed with Switch, you can pay a lot more for the same game, and that's kind of why i'm buying kind of the cheaper games at the moment because like the witcher 3 cost 40 pound i think and it's like i don't really want to be i mean caitlin bought that for me i didn't ask her to i wanted to see the pricing but they've just brought out the next gen upgrades for free or 10 pound if you didn't already own the game and it's like why would i you know let's see an old abandoned mansion lies at the dead end of pine view drive a troubled man is standing there again looking over the property it's like a mystery game. Ever heard of it? Let me know, because I have not. Right, we have two more. Next up, we have another Switch game. Another sealed one. Eterno Blade 2. You sure that's me that bought that? Just looking at that. Is this going to tell me how much it cost? No. Also sealed though. I mean, these are, these are brand new. That's three brand new games we've just got there. It's quite cool. 
Annoyingly though, like this is a thing. Why am I? Why am I, I'm buying an empty case? Really, aren't I? Let's be honest. <sighs> manipulate time. Manipulate your enemies. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> With the power of time at your disposal, swiftly defeat your foes and solve puzzles. Ever heard of it? Let me know. Because, like, I have not. No idea. I tell you. And finally, we have. Oh, okay. Okay. Warhammer 40k, Dawn of War Retribution. Big collector's edition. So what do we get in here? We get a big map. I am not opening that. We get the game. And it looks like some kind of artwork or something in there. I'm not really sure what that is. But that's still sealed, so I'm not going near that. The choice for Retribution. Multi-race campaign. Choose from six different playable races. So it's got six campaigns. That's quite cool. Develop, upgrade your heroes and unlock new buildable units. That sounds quite cool. I like the idea of that. And yeah, I've kind of... I've said in a previous thing when a Warhammer game came up. We played through Vermintide. And I know Warhammer is a completely like different. Like Vermintide isn't completely different but um ever since i've played that i've wanted to play more warhammer games not that that's a bad thing and i know most well not most but some warhammer games are kind of like age of empire halo wars kind of style games where you have to build your units and stuff so yeah that's two different I have, is it dawn of not dawn of war what's the other one i have Oh, it is, yeah. So in the previous unboxing out, it's just called Dawn of War. Whereas that's Dawn of War Retribution. So yeah, there you guys go. We have some new games to play. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with my Switch yet on YouTube, or whether I just keep that as kind of like my own thing, because like I said, I think Nintendo are a bit awkward when it comes to copyright. And like Mario Kart, I think if I uploaded that on my main channel, it would just get destroyed completely like i'm currently playing through uh pokemon violet um caitlin has got me onto pokemon so i'm kind of playing through that but it's like i don't really know how you go about doing that on youtube and it's also like a really kind of weird game to play through because it's not really a game with like a campaign so we'll see i don't know maybe i will on a second channel <coughs> um But yeah, you know, that is that. Tomorrow, I'm recording this on a Friday. Tomorrow, I'm going out again to game shops. So, we'll see if we can make a bigger one. I do also have something, some big things coming from eBay. So, yeah, keep your eye out if you like this kind of stuff. But yeah, there you go. That's the unboxing. So, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me know what you got for Christmas down below or what you want to get. Like I said, I think now would be a good time if you're interested. I mean, I'm going to wait too late for me to be telling you this, but get yourself some hard drives. You're going to need them. Um, that one terabyte one cost me £40 on Amazon. Uh, it's to make a Sonics. And that M.2 drive cost me £75 on Amazon. So, you know, again, this is probably going to be uploaded way into next year, so. We have loads of these to go through. But yeah, there you go, like I said. That's been your boy, so... I've said, like, links to all of my socials in the description box down below. It's been your boy. Hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.